an interesting piece of news to wake up to this morning. And low energy and low motivation. <laughs> I feel like I'm on cop. Have I absolutely butchered this? Potentially. I already hate it. <laughs> Ooh, it's all over my fingers. Well, hello there and welcome back to another weekend in lockdown vlog. We got some pretty intense news yesterday that the current lockdown, the level five restrictions in Ireland are going to be extended for at least another nine weeks. So that was a bit of a, an interesting piece of news to wake up to this morning. I'm sure most people knew last night, but I'm a granny and I'm asleep by quarter past 10, so I missed it. But that's what we're facing, um, a considerable amount of weeks um, still in the restrictions, but look, it is what it is. We're doing it for a reason. Needless to say, it is obviously not the news that any of us here in Ireland were looking to hear, but regardless, we move, we keep going. You know, there's really not much for it, but to just keep the head down, keep going, keep trying to keep, you know, things happy and cheerful as best we can. So anyway, that very serious bit of housekeeping news out of the way. Um, yeah, I'm gonna make this weekend a fun one, like I always try to do. Looking outside of the weather and it is very, very wet and rainy outside. We had some gorgeous spring weather this week. It was absolutely beautiful to see. You can see the daffodils budding, like spring is just sniffing around. It's very, very exciting. But this weekend is not really reflective of that. So. Unfortunately, it is going to be probably a weekend mostly spent indoors. And I will definitely still be getting out for my walks, but I will have to layer up, which is grand. However, I have some stuff on the weekend agenda that I definitely want to get done. And the main one is I want to do my spring summer wardrobe switch over. Laughing at myself looking out the window, it's pissing outside. I want to pack away all of my heavy winter coats, my faux furs, my heavy knits and layers. They all need to go into storage because I am manifesting that I will not be wearing them for the foreseeable future. And I can't even look outside while I say that. What I mean is things like light trench coats, you know, denim jackets, biker jackets, they'll all stay. They get worn over the summer. Never really gets that hot here. It's fine. My heavy teddy coats, I have loads of faux fur. They are really, really bulky in the wardrobe obviously and the thing that I do is just the best method of clothing storage ever and if you have not done it yet this vlog will change your life we're gonna vacuum pack them all away it is so satisfying to watch like a huge stuffed bag of clothing just shrink down into like I think it shrinks it down to like a quarter of its size. It is magnificent. It's a great time to do a little bit of a wardrobe switch over because you can kind of rest assured that you're probably not gonna be wearing those super heavy layers for the next few months. But another thing that I love about this seasonal packing away of all the heavier layers is that I also bring out a lot of my spring summer stuff that I absolutely love. The weather does change quite quickly in Ireland. So give us two weeks and we could be absolutely baking it in shorts and t-shirts. So I wanna be ready. That's what I'm gonna do this weekend. I bought some vacuum bags. I also bought some ones on Amazon. So that is something fun and exciting that will keep me occupied. And of course, if you would like to do it as well along with me, please do tag me in your stories. If you are now kind of spring cleaning your wardrobe or seasonally storing certain things away, I would love to see that you're doing that as well. And that actually brings me on to another thing that I wanted to say in the beginning of the vlog. And that is that I'm going to be running a series of giveaways in relation to my YouTube channel, because I am having so much fun sharing these videos. And I'd like to just give a little bit back to the lovely community who support me here on YouTube. It is so, so appreciated. So I'm going to be running a fortnightly giveaway for my YouTube channel and it's going to run via my Insta stories. So in order to enter, all you have to do is to share a picture on your Insta stories of you watching my vlogs. It will look something like this. I'll just give you an example. Basically just a picture of you watching my vlogs. And if you tag me, so obviously I can see that you've done it, you will be entered in. And then once every fortnight, I will choose one of you lovely people and I will send you a little package of beauty goodies. I've been putting aside a few things that I think you might really like. So do be sure and enter. I will leave all the details in the description as well if you want more clarification on it. But to summarize, all you need to do is share a photo on your Insta stories of you watching my vlog or any of my videos on my YouTube channel. Tag me so I know and you will be entered into the draw. Okay, so I feel like I have been rambling on enough. It is currently two minutes past two. I actually got most of the work that I needed to do today done 
this morning. So now I think I'm gonna make myself a little bit of lunch and I'm also going to do the Friday clean of the apartment. So I'm gonna do a bit of a whiz around and just do a little tidy. It's something I love doing ahead of the weekend. And then I think I'm gonna get started on the wardrobe situation because my wardrobe is currently bursting. So I need to get rid of some of those coats and get them stored and up on top of the wardrobe because I really need some more space. So we should get to work. So these are the vacuum bags that I'm gonna be using today. I picked these up in Woody's. These are the jumbo size. They had large, medium, and small. I would recommend going at least a larger jumbo because you want like a considerable amount of room, especially because as I said, I'm using these mostly for coats and they are bulky. So you basically just pack it up, seal it, vacuum, and then you can store it and wait until you see how much it shrinks. It's amazing. Um, so I'm gonna go into the room now and pull out all of my heavy, heavy winter coats. Okay, so here is my wardrobe and I don't know if you can see, but it's actually like pushing out because it's so full. So this is my coats drawer. It is absolutely wedged. This guy's gonna come out. This one, this one, this one. Oh my God, there's so much in here. So I'm gonna pull out some of these. Let's start with you. Oh my God. Here is the gigantic sealed bag. Just for reference, it has at least 10 coats in there. It is absolutely stuffed. I can show you how big it is. So I'm gonna go ahead, open this guy, put the um, Hoover kind of nozzle on it and hopefully shrink it down nice and good. So it is officially done. It is tiny compared to how thick it was before. The great thing about vacuum sealing your off-season clothes is that like no dust, no mold, no dampness or anything will get in. So even though they look a little bit wrinkled, they're absolutely fine. Like the fur coats will fluff out perfectly. The rest of them will just need a little steam. But yeah, it's ideal. So I'm gonna probably get Yosef to help me because this is so heavy now that it's so like condensed. And then I'm gonna put it up there on the top of my wardrobe. It will fit in nicely and it's just the perfect way to like store off season things. And actually I'll show you what the wardrobe looks like now. It's by no means finished. I need to organize it, but I've pulled out a lot of my spring summer stuff. Like a lot of these are real like high summer holiday stuff. But my plan is that I will use them when I'm making summery cocktails for my cocktail channel because that's what I did last year. And then look at this, like I need to fix all of this. Don't even know what's in there. Don't even know what's in there. Boots and yeah, things. <laughs> and then in here, this needs to be organized as well. So all this needs to be organized. You can tell I kind of made an attempt at organizing it a couple of months ago, but I have a little bit of space, like not that much, but I need to reorganize it. But actually this was fit to burst before I cleared out the heavier stuff. So now it's just stuff that I probably will wear during the summer. So I'm very happy with it. Okay, so it's almost five o'clock. The floors have been mopped. Hoovered. I've put on the first of a couple of loads of washing and I'm gonna grab Remy and go for a nice walk now. Oh, I'm loving, loving that we're getting more light in the evenings. It's like the best thing ever. So we're gonna go for a nice walk. I'm actually wearing this new t-shirt that I just got sent um, by a company called Foodie IRL. It's actually really sweet. It says Ramen Addict and I am a ramen addict, so it's really soft as well. If you watched last week's vlog, you'll know I love my walking gear, so I'm gonna get changed. It's been raining all day, but the rain has stopped as well, so I'm very much looking forward to this walk. So let's grab Remy. Do you wanna go for a walk? Oh my goodness, look at this. Oh, 
on cop. Well, hello and happy Saturday. So I am feeling less than super fresh this morning. It's not even morning, it's half one. Um, the last time I spoke to you, I said I was gonna be doing like a Zoom drinks hangout myself and Joseph are gonna be doing that with four of our really close friends um, who obviously, like everybody else, we haven't seen our friends in a really long time. We played Code Names. It's like this um, game that you all play on your phones and then you can play together. And it was so funny, we had so much fun and I was having some delicious gins. Um, Joseph was making them for me. I'm lucky in that I really don't get bad hangovers, but I actually feel so tired today. It's so unusual for me. I mentioned this in my vlog last week but I've been kind of just taking the weekends as working weekends and I feel like it's kind of catching up with me a little bit. This week in general was just a little bit low and low energy and low motivation. Um, obviously the news this week in terms of you know how Ireland's doing and, and lockdowns and stuff it hasn't been good. Um, the weather has not been great. I mean we did have a gorgeous inkling of spring in the beginning but we've also had some pretty um, bad weather days and for me getting out and doing long walks is like a cornerstone of my coping skills. So I'm sitting in the office now and the rain is battering the window so I don't think any crazy crazy long walks are gonna happen today. But in the meantime, there's something that I've wanted to do and that is to cut my curtain bangs. So just to give you a look at them, they are very long. Um, and I feel like I actually had like a decent kind of fringe situation going on, um, but obviously it grows out very quickly. I am so, so happy with the at-home color. I have a full video on how I colored my hair at home using like a, a box hair dye. Went really, really well. So if you're interested, I will link that in the description, but I'm super happy with how it's coming out. Like obviously after a few washes, it's lightened a tiny bit and it will continue to lighten. So yeah, I'm gonna sit down in front of my beauty mirror now. I'll bring you over and we are gonna try and cut my fringe. I'm actually a bit nervous to do this, but I just feel like if I take it easy and go slow, what's the worst that could happen? I'm saying that now and there's lots of bad things that could happen. I bought this scissors on Amazon for this very moment and I also have a thinning shears. Oh my god, I feel like this is gonna be way more complicated than I think. Okay, so this looks stunning. I've wet my fringe. Oh my god, I literally don't even know what I'm doing. Well, might as well give it a go. Wish me luck! I already hate it. <laughs> Oh my god, is that the door? <laughs> I mean, have I absolutely butchered this? Potentially. Anyway, let's blow dry it and see what it looks like. Okay, so I am happy with it. I could take off more, but I'm gonna sleep on it and I might give it another trim potentially tomorrow. So right now I'm just gonna give it a quick go over with my Dyson Corral. It is so handy for taming a fringe. See, I like that. I like that it has the little bit of the bounce to it. One of the little tricks that I've been doing lately to help close in my curtain fringe, because I want it to look like this as much as possible without being too heavy, I get one of these clips and I basically clip it on the top of my scalp. <laughs> and it goes like this. And then I just let it sit like that for a while. I know it looks really strange, but it does like push the hair in nicely. Gives a bit more like oomph to the center of the fringe. This is the side that always gives me grief and I feel like I maybe need to cut these bits a bit more, but I'm gonna sleep on it and see tomorrow. Well, hello and happy Sunday. So it's already half five and I'm only checking in now. Um, today was very much a work day. I was just filming for my YouTube channel and filming some more cocktails. So that took most of the day. And then when I finished, I had something to eat and then I went for a lovely walk with Yosef and Remy and actually it is a beaut of a day. So 
so nice. So yeah, it is Sunday evening. I feel like this vlog has been so disjointed. I feel like I haven't properly taken you from the top and tail of the days, but that's fine. You definitely got to see more of that last week, but I'm gonna clean up the kitchen after my cocktails. I'm also gonna put on something for myself and Yosef. I think I'm gonna do a baked camembert for us because we haven't had one of those in ages and I love a baked camembert. Oh, it's the best, it's so, so good. Um, so I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna take my makeup off and I think I wanna tint my brows. Now you're not gonna see now because they have product on them. So I'm gonna retint them. I have done a video on this. It is the handiest treatment to do at home. So I won't go through the whole process with you but I will show you the bare bones of it because it is such a handy treatment. So I need to clean up the kitchen so I better go. So my makeup is off, my brows are ready to be tinted. So I have my brow tint kit here. This is the handiest thing, oh my God. As you can see, it's very messy. So I'm gonna go in now with a cotton bud and just clean her up. And especially clean up under here. Beautiful. So let's leave that on for I'm gonna say roughly 10 minutes because I know I've spent a few minutes faffing. So it's been about 10 minutes. It looks significantly darker. So I'm gonna go ahead and just use a little bit of micellar water on a cotton pad. <laughs> Ooh, it's all over my fingers. Oh, there's no tint on my skin, but it's clung very nicely to the hairs. They were a lot lighter before. It's just so handy because it just means I don't have to wear any product on them which is ideal. I might actually tint my lashes maybe next weekend. Okay, so it's about seven o'clock now, so I'm gonna get into my cozies and get very comfy and just watch something for the evening and just totally chill out because I have my work done for the day, so I'm just gonna relax. Mm -hmm. 